Yeah, yeah, what's poppin', y'all? Back with another classic. On my way to take this road trip just to get away for a few days. As I said in previous vid videos, that it is good that we get away from time to time, you know, especially if you're an individual like myself who grinds every day, seven days a week, and keeps that schedule for months at a time, you need to take a break from time to time. Yeah, I had to pull over some dumb nigga behind me, acting like they got somewhere to be. Really, they just going to the chicken spot but, you know, the best thing you do when you got ignorant, ignorant niggas behind you that speed racing, is just give them the right of way. You know, because niggas ain't, they don't think. A lot of times, that's why you, they call it nigga. A nigga, so you got, you have niggas and you got black people. And niggas, they don't think, right? So... They're, they're, pure, they're purely 100% emotion. Sometimes you might get a nigga that has about maybe 1% logic, but for the most part, niggas are 100% emotional. So in those instances, you just gotta let them, you know, it's basically, you feel me? Let them do what they're gonna do. You know, and particularly if you're on the road, go ahead and let the nigga just, if you see the nigga speed racing behind you. And the funny thing about this is, is that a majority of the time, these niggas ain't going nowhere. They either going to the liquor store, get a blunt, they going to the chicken spot. It ain't like the only time you should be driving crazy like that is you should be driving like a bat out of hell. It's either you are in need of immediate emergency care from the hospital or somebody you are with is in immediate life-threatening emergency care from the hospital. All other things, it's not fucking worth it. For instance, I live on a street. I live on a particular street that is known for a high number of accidents. And I see every day when I'm driving to my home why a majority of these goddamn accidents happen with these ignorant motherfuckers, right? The reason why these motherfuckers are driving like they in the Indy 500 or something. They're not, they're not even going no fucking where though. That's the crazy thing about it. They're driving like they in the Indy 500 but they're not going no fucking where. They're not, you know what I mean? You, you should not even be driving like that even if you're late for work, right? Because your life is not worth your little nine to five, you dig? So you should, I mean, if you're gonna be late, you're gonna be late and just tell your damn employer, hey man, you know, I was late. Whatever the reason, you woke up late or whatever. But it ain't worth your life. So anyway, I live on the street and it has a lot of fucking accidents and I hear them. Just last night, I heard somebody run into some shit. Loud ass, bang. And I know that that was a result of that ignorant motherfucker coming around because it's a bend. It's like a bend in which you come around and you don't see what's, what's in front of you until you get out of that bend. And a lot of motherfuckers just drive uh, going 100 miles per hour into that fucking bend and lose control and run into something, you know? And that's all a part of the ignorance. That's that's a nigga mentality, right? But that's not what this vi uh, video is about. This video is about, and I just got, reason why I went on that uh, rant was because it was a nigga behind me driving erratically. And I just pulled over and let him get in front of me. But anyway, the reason this video is about, the reason I'm making this video is I want to talk about 
And this might be, this might seem like a contradiction, but it is what it is. I want to talk about why woke or conscious black men may decide to date outside of their race. Why woke or conscious black men may decide to decide date outside of their race. And I would say that we're going to maybe give about I'm, a, I'm, I'm I probably maybe give about three to four reasons why this happens. So reason number one I've I've come up with and all this is based on personal experience and the observing the, the experience of others and just from just studying and, and being observant. So reason number one is that many of these black men have tried unsuccessfully to, to no avail, to get a black woman. So I can speak to my own history. I became conscious a long time ago, right? And before came it, becoming conscious, I was open to dating other races. But after becoming conscious, right, I decided that if I'm going to be real, if I'm going to be authentic, then I can only have a black woman. And as a side note, I am, I prefer the black woman, you know, even now I prefer and always have preferred the black woman because in my opinion, they're the most beautiful woman out there, you know, because they come in so, so many different varieties, so many different shades and shapes and all that. So that's why I love the black woman and I prefer the black woman. But in my experience in trying to be with the black woman as a conscious black man, I find, I found that I would pursue black woman that I felt that was conducive with me, that we was on the same level, on the same page, you know, on the same wavelength, right? And what ended up happening is that a majority of these sisters I would pursue would be, would have all these high expectations of what they want out of a man. They had this list, right? This list, whether they got it in their mind, whether they wrote it down, they got this list of what they want and what they expect from a potential mate. And usually at the top of that list is a certain professional title. He has to be this, vice senior president. He has to be this high executive or whatever right and he has to make this amount of money a year right and that's fine but you got it because you gotta understand this that because the black woman can be found in these these areas in corporate America it's only because they are one they satisfy two requirements. They one, the, they satisfy, satisfy the minority requirement, and two, they satis satisfy the female requirement. And so employers are more willing to accept black women than black men, unless that black man is a certain way, which I'll explain shortly. Because they're willing to accept the black woman 
because she that because they get two for one, right? They, under Equal Op Opportunity Act, they get two for one. They get a woman and they get a minor, a so-called so-called minority. Whereas with a black man, they only get one, and that's the minority, right? But what these sisters fail to understand is that if you look at the type of black men that are in these corporate settings, they're usually very, very soft, right? They're either gay or they're very soft. You know, they're not alphas, they're betas, right? And so, because you gotta be that way. You gotta be that way to make it in white corporate America. You can't be an alpha. You can't be a, a strong black alpha male. You gotta be a beta, you know what I mean? The strong black alpha male is considered a threat to the powers that be, right? So, but these sisters don't take that in, into consideration. And so if you may be that strong black alpha male and that being that way has made it difficult for you to make your, your, your interest into white corporate America, even though you went to school, even though you got your degree, even though you got all these certifications, but the fact that you don't walk with your dick between your legs, a twist in your ass, and smile when it ain't funny, has made it hard for you to, to, to make an entry into that world. Because you don't wanna play these corporate politics has made it hard for you to make an entrance into that world, right? And so these sisters don't take that into consideration, you know, and so, they have these all these high expectations of you, but you know, they don't understand that a lot of these expectations, there's walls put up that she basically feels that if she can do it, you can do it, right? Not really analyzing the situation. And so I meet a lot of these sisters, I went on dates with them, you know, they seem woke, they seem conscious, intelligent, smart, you know degrees and all that but they 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 lack the knowledge in that area and so i will go out on a date with them but a majority of the time it would go nowhere right and so now i'm stuck with options that i don't want because i want and I feel that what I want is basically what I'm bringing. I don't feel like I'm asking more more than what I'm bringing to the table, right? And so what I what I want is I want a black woman who is intelligent, who is woke, who is into her health and fitness, and does what's necessary to keep her health and fitness in good order. She goes to the gym, she eats healthy, does, doesn't smoke, doesn't drink, doesn't drink much and don't use drugs, right? Is intellectual, you know, likes to read, likes to study. You know, I don't, to have a degree, it doesn't, I mean, it's nice, but that don't make you an intellectual, you know, and that just means that you remembered a lot of shit and in whatever field you remember that shit in and then you, use that to pass to get your degree. That don't make you intelligent. You know, you gotta be a critical thinker to be considered an intellectual. So anyway, so I look for that because I feel like I'm bringing that to the table. And if, if we had to go with the degree thing, I bring that to the table too. But a lot of these sisters that, that, that I look for that out of all have these high unrealistic expect expectations because they have made their, their entry into corporate ladder right and so now what I'm left with is either those sisters that for their younger years they were dating they were dating all they wanted was the thug all they wanted was the bad boy and now after getting knocked up by three or four bad boys and those bad boys leaving these sisters right now these sisters are uh got these children and now they want to now that they realizing that it's becoming harder for them and they're getting older and if they're, they're finding that hey you know I'm getting older and I'm, I don't have no man you know 
let me go back and look at that good guy that I used to diss back when I was young, hot, and without these children. And so this is, and, it, and this is what they present themselves. They then try to present themselves to these men, these good, these guys that didn't take the bad boy route, didn't take the thug route, you know, just decided to focus on their studies and make themselves a high value male in terms of their career and their, uh, their financial success. Now they try, these same females are trying to throw themselves at these guys now, but now with all this baggage, and they accept these guys to accept them, like, 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 you know, and try to shame them for not, which is crazy. But, so I'm left with that option, or the over, overweight woman, the overweight sister who says I'm big, big and beautiful, but feel, but big, big, beautiful, independent, and educated, but you feel you should get a an apex male, right? Because because you're educated, edu educated, and you're big and beautiful, right? But that's not right because to be that apex man, it takes a lot of work. You know what I mean? To keep your body in order, I I I grind the pavement to, to, just to keep my frame. You know what I mean? It's not easy. It's a lot of sacrifice. It's, it's days, it's a lot of days of going into the gym when you don't want to go into the gym. It's a lot of days of going and get your cardio in and, and running those miles when you don't feel like running those miles. You know what I mean? It's a lot of days where you want to eat something, you know, where you got a, a, a craving for a particular food, but you don't eat it because you know it's not, it's not, it's not good for you. It's not conducive to what you're trying to make, maintain, right? And after a man going through all that, these these BBWs feel like they're entitled to that man, maybe because they got a good job and they educated. And that's crazy. You know what I mean? That's really crazy. But that's what you left with. And that's what I was left with. And I don't feel that if I put all this work in, I should settle for any of those. Right? I don't feel like since I put all this work in and to making my mind better and to making my body tight to do all, to doing all this to be that apex male i don't feel like i should settle for either or i feel like i should get something that's conducive to what i'm to me and what i'm bringing to the table but i find that these type of women they got all these type of high expectations right and so you'll try as i said in point as i was saying in point one you try unsuccessfully for many, many, for a year to maybe a few years to pursue this type of sister, this type of black woman, all to no avail. And so that's, that's number one. Number two is that, number two is that basically uh, a lot of these a lot of these sisters they may be so focused on their career and their career success that they don't make themselves available to potential mates so that's reason number two reason so it may be two it may be two to three we'll go with three being the last one right so, and reason number three is that why a, a black conscious man may decide to date outside of his race is because a lot of our sisters don't want to be submissive to their man. They don't want to submit to a worthy male right and i might just say like when i say a worthy male a man that deserves to be submitted i ain't talk about the little boy but a man that's handling his business that's doing that's doing you know that's responsible he deserves to meet a woman that's willing to submit to him but you will find that a lot of sisters they find that as being weak. They find that as being 
you know, unwomanly. And so they're not willing to submit to a man, a worthy male. So with those three reasons, <clears throat> a black man has to say with well, them, you know, if I settle, I won't be, if I settle for the sake of just having a black woman, I may find myself in a situation I don't want to be in and will end up being unhappy in that situation. So, but at the end of the day, he's still a man. He still has needs. He still has a sexual urge that has to be fulfilled, that he doesn't want to depend on masturbation and pornography to fulfill that urge, right? And so now you have this black man who's done, you know, he's, like he said, he, like I said, you know, he made himself a high value male. He stays in the gym. He's focused on his purpose. He's focused on, you know, becoming wiser and better himself mentally and physically. And he's doing all this. He, he finds himself having a hard time finding a suitable counterpart in a black female but all the while he got these other races of women checking out checking them out because they like hey you know they can't they can't deny they can't deny it when they see a a uh, a high value black alpha male that they they feel a certain attraction level to that are attracted to that type of man are, gravi are gravitating to that type of man. And so they may start to give him little signs, you know, little eyes when he's out and about, you know, little flirtations, flirtations signals when he's out and about handling business. Or maybe they work with him at his job, you know, or what he, where he does his, his business. And this black man is like, well, damn, man, you know, I'm not having no luck trying to make it happen with my woman am i just to just to, am i just to stay single to, and, and and stay sexless and and hope one day that 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 black woman's going to come along and waste my years you know because life is short and we only got so so long on this planet trying to wait for this black woman to come along which I've been trying is proven unsuccessful. Why should I just go ahead and see what's going on with this, you know, this uh this Asian woman, this Latina woman, this white woman. I mean she's cooperating. She's cooperating hundred percent. You know what I mean? She's not giving up in any resistance. You know, what what is a man to do? And so now this this conscious black man, this woke man, being real being realistic about the situation, understanding <clears throat> that we only have so long on this planet, understanding that our years of, our years of, um, I wanna say, our years of, I can't say fertility, but our years of, it escapes me right now, but that our years of being that prime male is only is only a, is going only going to last for a certain amount of time. You know what I mean? And as we as we age, we use that vi we lose that vitality. Maybe that that's what I was trying to say. That vitality, we we lose that. And as we age, we lose. We use though we 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 can work hard to preserve it, but we can't stop the aging process. So we use that we lose that vigor. And are we allow are we to allow those years to go by? Are we allow are we to allow those years to go by, trying and unsuccessfully and waiting for that black woman to come along, or are we to say you know what? 
I've tried. I've done all I can do to try to find that sister. All to no avail. Let me go ahead and check out what's on the other side. And if he goes out and he does that, and he's successful in his endeavors, then the woman can't be upset at him. How can you be upset at him? Because even if you see him walking with this woman out in public, with this woman of, an, of another race, you don't understand how he arrived there. You jump into the conclusion that you jump into the conclusion that this brother was just a, a, a Oreo and he just preferred the other races. Not understanding that this brother had tried unsuccessfully for many years to to obtain the companionship of a black woman. And so I'm gonna leave this video with this, with a, with a recent interaction that I have had in trying to get the companionship of a black woman. I was, <clears throat> I just, I had just come from a, my, my, my Sunday run in which I like to run three or four miles uh, every week, every Sunday. <clears throat> and I was going, I was headed to the grocery store to pick up some groceries before heading home. And as I'm parking, I noticed this sister, you know, I said, oh, she looks nice. She's, she's built nice. You know, she, she had a natural hairstyle. She had dreads, you know. She obviously is into her health because she's shopping at a grocery store that sells a lot of organic foods and things like that. So mm, this might be, you know, this might be a prospect. So I roll my window down and I and I get her attention and she stops. And I said, okay, cool. I, I was, you know, I kind of wasn't expecting it, but she, you know, because a lot, a lot of times, you know, women, when they're out doing their thing, they don't like to be bothered. And it was night, it was the evening. So I was kind of surprised by the fact that she actually stopped in you know, and was willing, you know, to allow me to introduce myself to her. So I introduced myself to her. I, you know, I told her, hey, you know, you know, I noticed you. I, I, you know, you look, you look very nice. And uh, how about, basically, how about we get, to, you know, let's change numbers and let's get together sometime. Let's go, you know, have have a uh, a coffee or something or a meal. And she was like, cool, you know. And we, you know, we exchange numbers and. I end up hitting up her, hitting her up that same night. I'm like, you know what? I ain't doing nothing today. You feel me? I'm, I, I'm, I'm free. I don't have anything planned. Let me go ahead and hit her up. So, I hit her up. I'm like, hey, let's, um, <clears throat> let's get together tonight for tea. You know, I know it's Sunday night, but you know they, they, they have some tea shops around. Let's get together for tea, and you know, and, and uh, talk for a little bit. And to my surprise, she was down, you know? I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, damn, cool. You know, I'm thinking to myself like, man, this sister, you know, this might be a cool sister, you know what I mean? And, you know, she's not combative. You know, she seems cool. And so we meet at the coffee spot, the tea spot, and everything was going cool. You know, we talking. She's telling me that uh, um, she had just moved from the East Coast, where she was living for a minute, and uh, <clears throat> that she reloc relocated here for for work. She says she works in the tech tech industry. You know, she told me she went to a historical black college. Uh, she told me she traveled, and I'm like, damn. I'm, like, I'm in my mind. I'm thinking like, man, this this might this this might be the one worth pursuing. You know, but throughout the day. I started to, you know, and I'm good. I'm a good observer. I'm a good observer of body language and tone and all that. So I'm just, I'm kind of getting a sense of a feeling that, you know, make I'm kind of sensing that she she wasn't 
really into it. You know, because of her responses to my my questions, they started to get shorter. And uh, she, she started to check her phone a little bit. And what else? Uh, basically, um, she wasn't asking me a lot of questions about myself as the, as the night progressed. And then uh, she got, I guess she got offended about something I said. And I don't think it was, I don't think it was bad, you know what I mean? Because I was just stating what, what I usually see, but she was saying that she was pursuing, trying to, to uh, she was starting to train to compete in not bodybuilding, but I guess body sculpting and whatever. And I kind of made like, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, uh, are you ready for your voice to change? And I'm just playing with her. But she's like, oh, that's not a thing to say. You know, you know, like, and I'm like, okay, I I'm just joking. You know, I'm just trying to bring some levity to the, to the, the conversation. But I can tell after that, that, you know, she, she kind of, the, it, the date kind of went left, right? And so she, start, she started to check her watch and then she's like, oh, well, um, you know, I got to get up early in the morning, got to go to work and whatnot. But, uh, you know, it was nice talking with you and whatever. And, uh, you know, but I got to go, you know? And so I walk her out and I'm like, oh, um, what you doing? I know she's on her phone and I'm looking, you know, and I look at her phone and it looked like she called an Uber. And I'm like, uh, oh, uh, you caught the Uber here, huh? She's like, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't want to give up my parking. It's so hard to find parking on my street. And I'm like, well, you know, you don't, you don't have to take Uber. I mean, I can, you know, I can drop you off. I mean, it's all good. I mean, you came here. I don't mind, you know, taking you home. And she's like, no, that's okay. That's all right. And I just kind of felt like after that, that would be the last time I, I heard from her. And so here was a sister that I felt was conducive to me, but yet, I don't know if she has these high expectations or whatnot of her mate, but I didn't understand <clears throat> how you could be so open and cooperative to to having this date in the first place on, sub, on such a certain short notice, but all of a sudden you're just acting, you know, you're acting funny. And so anyway, I didn't expect to hear from her after that. And when I tried to reach out to her again, like, hey, you know, we're, you know, let's get together. You know, she's like, oh, you know, what's the point? Anyway, so that's just one story of many instances where instances that that happened, but not maybe not uh, maybe not in the same way but a similar outcome now fast forward that to a month later and i'm going shopping i went shopping somewhere <clears throat> and i see i seen a woman an attractive woman of another race that was giving me flirtatious signals and so I decided to approach but I approached I approached her with a joke you know I approached her with a light-hearted joke and she was cool she was cool with it a similar joke you know I just approached her in a similar like a joke that was similar to the sister that I was telling you about that <clears throat> I went to the tea, the tea, uh, tea place with it was a similar joke but when I approached this woman of a different race with a joke she was cool you know she didn't she didn't get offended she under she laughed at it and understood it was a joke you know what i mean and we end up exchanging information and we end up kicking it and it went cool and i you yeah, know we kicked it after that and it led some to some things but for the most part it led to us getting physical but the whole different it was a whole different outcome than when I was trying to deal with the system and so 
I'm like, damn. You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, what is a man to do? What is a conscious man, what is a black conscious man to do if he wants companionship from his black woman, but he's not getting the results that he wants, or he's not, he's not getting, he's, he's finding that he's not getting the type of sisters that he wants. What is he to do? Is he to settle for any sister? Is he to settle for the for the baby mama with with five children from five different men, but she got her degree? Or the, the extremely obese black woman that don't have children, got a degree, got a good job, the precious type, you know? And and I will say this that even with the precious type. Not saying that she doesn't deserve love, but she she did, she should have someone that is main that is along her lines, right? So if she if she's an extremely obese woman, then <clears throat> how can she expect can how can she expect to get a extremely fit man? She should basically get a man who's big like her who's obese like her you know what I mean she shouldn't have this high expectation to get with a man that is put in all this all this work all this effort to keep his body tight in the gym grueling hours <clears throat> and she don't do none of that that's crazy you know what I mean so I end that I end that video I end this video saying that, like, what is what is the conscious black man to do if he has tried unsuccessfully to get the companionship of his equal in a black woman? What is he to do? What are your thoughts? Let me know. Comment below like share and subscribe peace